Hello friends, welcome to Learn Tech. Hope you are enhancing your coding skills. And in this video, we are going to play music using music player which we have made using Python and Tkinter. So let's get started. So friends, till the last part, we have completed our project till here. So our first part in this tutorial is to make some changes in the center image button. Actually, first we have defined it as button and now we are going to define it as label because it is not going to do any work and okay so i have did changes okay so as you can see there are no borders and it has been changed to label and now let's go to next step and we are now going to adjust the paddings of every widget so that we can place one more frame inside below the uh, buttons and we are going to place playlist in that space so let me do this part quickly and if you want to watch everything uh, very clearly and slowly you can go to youtube settings and change the playback speed to 0.25x so friends now I think that there is a need of scroll bar so that we can add many songs inside the playlist and then scroll down because our screen shoe will not be enough to save all the names of songs in only one window. So scroll bar is a good option and to make a scroll bar uh, please follow the steps which I am doing now. Actually you can say that creating a scroll bar is quite similar like creating a widget and so as you can see we have written scroll bar and then inside the parenthesis we have first written in which window it is going to present and here we have written frame 5 and then we have to define the orient and here basically orient means uh, where we want to use the scroll bar uh, basically for y axis or x axis. I hope you got a clear idea about this. So let's run and check that whether it is placed or not. Okay, so as you can see the scroll bar has been placed uh, but it has been shrink. And to remove this problem we are going to add a title. So I am creating a label of title and let's first place it using pack. And now we are going to type the syntax which we usually do when we define a label. And if you are not clear about this, watch our previous videos and you are going to get a clear idea. And we are going to name it as my playlist which we want to display above the scroll bar. So let's correct the spelling mistake and then we will add uh, some pad x and pad y and then we will check whether it works or not. So let me add pad x and pad y and then run it. Okay so as you can see the widget has been added and now we are going to do some more changes in the widget so that uh, it looks quite cool and it looks at least presentable. So guys as usual I am running the video at 2x so that it would save our time and if you want to watch this part carefully then you know how you can do this. So friends we have designed the frame 5 and the playlist section so now we are going to add songs inside this playlist. So as you can see I have typed the syntax added songs dot insert uh, but first we need to make a list box and basically list box means it is going to store the list of all the songs and we can further display it in our playlist. So I am defining the list box and we are defi first we will define a variable. And as you can see the variable name is added songs and then we will type list box and we will place it in frame 5. And now let's place it using pack function. So I am typing added songs dot pack and now we are going to simply copy the uh, variable and we'll paste in the function. So basically insert means we are inserting the name of the songs which we are going to add one by one. So now let's run and see whether it is working or we are getting an error. So let me run it. Okay, so let's uh, click on add songs and let's navigate to the 
ncs folder okay so as you can see the song has been added but it is taking the full path so we have to change the uh, full path and replace it with just the name of the uh, song so to do that we will use replace function but uh, till now we are going to increase its width so that it looks quite uh, presentable okay so it's looking quite good mm, better than before and now let me do some more changes to make it look more presentable and i am running this part in 3x to change full path of the songs with only the song name which is displayed on the playlist section in the playlist section uh, so let me first copy this path which is uh, which we want to replace and now we are going to do that using songs dot replace and we are going to replace it with just a space so I am writing space and now let's run it so let's navigate to the folder of ncs and add a song Mm, I think there's another because there no song is been added. Uh, let's try once again. Yeah, there is an error. So let's check what is the error. Mm, okay, we have the, the error in the syntax. So we have to write songs equals to songs dot replace. And now let's try it again. Let me navigate to the folder and add a song. Mm, there's an error. Let me check. Mm, I think we have to write file name. Now, I uh, yes, the song names is been displayed without the full path, and we are able to add all the songs which we want to add. So now our next step will be playing the song which has been added in the playlist. And friends, to play the music, you have to use a library which whose name is Pygame. So let me import Pygame, and we are going to use it. Uh, well, I think we have to define a new function for it. So let me create a workspace for it, as we always do. Mm, okay, so let me first create it, and we will name this as playing songs, or we can say def play song. So first we need to use the variable in which we have stored the names of all songs and the variable name is added songs. So we are writing added underscore songs dot list dot get active. And we have did this because we have to play the song which we have selected. So this is the only purpose for using dot get active. 